Hi guys, today I want to show you some uh, system to get the armbar out of the classical full Shichikatana position. So, we have to fight here a few different levels of defense. First, I show you the levels of defense and the possible escapes you can do. Classical one, he has figure four lock there and it don't matter much if he has the hand under or over. For me, it doesn't matter. For him, it matters a lot because the escape options here are much better. So if you have the choice, for sure, it's better to have the arm there than here. First level of defense. Next level, he has a um, palm to palm grip or ass grip here. Next level of defense, I maybe break this grip and he grabs his inner, inner uh, leg here. Not that easy to break, if you don't know how this works. Next thing. Um, Straight arm here. He's close to get finished, but he can still run out in both directions. So let's start with the first level. First level, figure four lock. My arm is directly here. Typical possible escape. What he can do here, what he wants to do is getting onto the knees, stack me, and get the arm out. You can show it once. That's a classical escape. Other escape, he can try to push my arm, my, my, my arm or my, my leg away, getting over with the head like this and makes it breaks my armbar position. To avoid this, depending on the, um, I need first to, to get a good position here and depending on my opponent, I'm crossing my feet, feet or not. Sometimes if I have a very powerful opponent here and I simply slower the game down with getting super tight here on the shoulder, lock everything tight here, and waiting until uh, he's calmed down, and then I maybe start to open again to use my wedges a little bit better. But the main thing here, what I have to do, is I have to jump to control this leg directly. He can only get to the knees if I don't have control over the leg. So what I do, getting deep grip here in, on my hip with the hand like this, falling down to the right side and holding the leg. Now, as, as soon as I'm here, I can open my feet, and it's super hard for him now to get on the, on, the, on the knees. If you try to get on the knees now, he can't because I control the leg. He needs to free his leg here first, and then I simply, if he do it, I simply grab it again. That's not the big deal. From here, I have a lot of time, falling right to the right side, lifting up his head a little bit, now pushing my hip forward, upwards, and my leg downwards. This always breaks this grip and leads it to his second, second base. So the second defense. So from here, I can stay there and I have a few options to, to open this grip. I can simply go out of the foot here, like this, or getting into kicking. Or what I like to do is now in this case, because of the, um, yeah, I don't have to figure four anymore. And maybe it's a little bit harder now to get on the knees. And I, I need to be do it fast, so cannot do, cannot go there now and waiting super long. So I'm directly prepared for my next steps. Here, going over, getting this hand in, changing the hands, pulling the elbow from my right side, getting up through his wrist with my left arm, falling now backwards in some kind of Americana here. This is much, much easier to open this lock than if I simply go in here and I'm pulling like hell. So what I do instead, this using this nice angle that he can open the grip. From here, um, typically what can happen, he can, as soon as I break the grip, sometimes what happens, he, he holds with his power again and he tries to grab his inside of, inside of the leg here, like this. If this happens, same thing again. I'm getting into with this hand, changing my grips again. I need to change my grips now. Because if I now go pull here like hell, I will not get anything. So what I do instead, and I'm super in danger now because if he's getting my foot, he's escaped. Uh, typical escape, I think Keenan showed it once on YouTube. Uh, really good escape, using it a lot. But as soon as this, co as this comes to this point, I'm getting my hand inside here again, and I'm going now, I'm pushing with the other hand. So I don't pull, I'm pushing. Pushing it in the inside again. And super important, if I push it, Inside again like this, he gets a figure four again. And this, I wanna avoid this because I have to start again. So when he's doing it, 
push it again and I keep pulling with my right elbow. So I keep it in distance. So you can only get the, um, the S grip or pump, pump grip uh, back. So now changing my hands again and I do things better. So I don't give him the arm back. Falling down and now we have a situation where he has only two last escapes. He can roll out on the hitchhiker or he can roll the other side. So and to avoid this, first thing, I pull him a lot on the right side here. This helps a lot to avoid the hitchhiker. And as soon as I can, I'm switching my grips. I don't do it like, I don't do arm bars like this. And so, because he, he can still turn his wrist. And this is always a problem. His thumb turns down, he can do the, the one escape is running this way. And if you thumb us the other way, you can do an easily hitchhiker escapes. So what I try to avoid, turning his thumb. So I come with my hand like this and I keep in the thumb. And my other hand was here. So I'm sliding up with a double wrist control on his, leg, on his arm here. Getting my legs together, pull it backwards here. Now pull his arm always over my right hip, not over my belly. Like this, over my right hip. Getting some pulling and some pushing arm and then I have super nice uh, angle to break the arm. If he is now trying to, uh, to run out of this in any direction, it's super hard. So once again, the whole sequence. First, we are starting here, controlling the leg, falling down, breaking the first one, getting into here, and maybe I'm doing lazy stuff here, I'm opening it, but he's grabbing directly uh, his inner leg, switching again, pushing on with the arm here, switching again, get it here, switching to the wrist, have the wrist, everything nice and tight here, and pulling him down to the elbow. 